it's amazing we got a chance to do this because our original plan was to do this like 3 years ago and then and you kept telling me i am saying no but i never knew i always looked at the shows and every cricketer would go and i was like why am i not invited this is Gaurav crazy i must think i'm not a good player like i'm not at his level to be on the show you know i don't know why all the rahuls do this <laughs> first rahul dravid did this on the show now kl rahul is doing is this a name thing all the rahuls have to come and put my name you're forgetting rahuls because there's so many rahuls in india <laughs> so funny thing on on my manager's name is rahul the photographer that i shoot with is rahul my stylist is rahul so you got to be a rahul to be on your team this <laughs> is the first thing i ask no cv forget all of that what's your name if you're the rahul you're hired nothing else like <laughs> aa jao aa jao saath aa jao राहुल नाम तो सुना होगा नाम एक काम अनेक बैटर विकेट कीपर कैप्टन टैटू कलेक्टर आरबीआई ऑफिसर टुडे आई एम कैचिंग अप विद के एल राहुल ऑन स्कोडा प्रेजेंट्स ब्रेकफास्ट विथ चैंपियंस सो आई हैव जस्ट कम टू रियलाइज a couple of years ago that my mom's lied to me for the first 26 27 years of my life about how she's named me her side of the story was she was a huge sharukh khan fan and his characters in the 90s were rahul yeah right so i used to go with that story yeah. i told one of my friends who watches probably a lot of movies and like knows a lot about bollywood and she said bro sharukh was his first character as rahul was 1994 you were born in 1992 so it doesn't make any sense i was like yeah then i googled it and i was like no my mother's been lying to me i went and asked her she's like some something yeah something like that like who cares now and all but she really likes she's a huge fan of sharukh khan oh, now but nice. my dad's side of the story checks out more than than my mother's he was he was a huge uh, gavaskar fan he used to listen he told me he used to listen to commentary on the radio and stuff and that's how he heard it so yeah so his story is that because uh, sunil gavaskar named his son yeah Rohan and your dad said okay I will also name my son but he had heard it wrong. he he heard it as Rahul and then I think that's what yeah, he thought it was yeah yeah wow my my mother still gives me shit for not having a degree even now even now yeah even during lockdown she said why don't you finish you have 30 papers why don't you sit and write it and get a degree the mom what do you want me to do like I'm playing cricket, doing well for myself. You want me to go write thirty papers? Yeah. He's like, yeah, why not? He's not impressed. He's not impressed with. She's not. IPL captaincy, India captaincy, na degree. The happiest they've been is when I got a RBI job, like a central government job, mil gaya. So they were the happiest. I was, I'd played four years for India already, but that yeah. didn't make them happy. This was like, yes, now you'll be stable. I just get a good salary. They look after the sports people really well. Yeah. Can't ask. I love, I love how you're talking about good salary. Yeah. There's people out there who are listening and saying, IPL captain playing for India, no, still I mean. proper <laughs> middle class values, good no. service. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's a professor. My mum's a professor. The whole family, like whoever I can think of, my cousins, my whoever, are all either engineers or like. doctors or doing something i was i was in a i was a smart kid they like like 10 once we finish 10th you could choose whether you want to do commerce or you want to do science yeah. and nobody in my family has ever taken commerce so it yeah. was like a like for my parents commerce? was like like it's going to be embarrassing for us like i do, i can't do it i can't i can't take up science and play cricket there, there's no there's no chance but they yeah. understood when Fine. did they finally say ke acha अब ठीक है नाउ इट्स फाइन बट इफ यू आर टेलिंग मी अ ईयर एंड अ हाफ अगो योर मम वाज टेलिंग यू टू टेक 30 पेपर्स देन या माय मम कीप्स कीप्स टॉन्टिंग मी एवरी नाउ एंड देन बट आई हैव बीन फॉर्चूनेट इन अ वे बिकॉज़ यू नो डैड प्लेड अ बिट ऑफ क्रिकेट ही प्लेड फॉर हिज यूनिवर्सिटी एंड एवरीथिंग एंड हिज स्टोरी इज दैट हिज हिज पेरेंट्स डिडंट एनकरेज हिम दैट मच टू प्ले क्रिकेट दे डिडंट स्टॉप हिम बट दे यू नो वंस ही गॉट टू got to a place where either he had to choose cricket or studies that's when they said no you have to choose studies he loves the game as well so he never he never stopped me or never said you cannot play it he said you i let you play it i want you to play cricket but just make sure your your education doesn't take a back seat completely 
mom and dad was always like be a good boy we don't we don't care oh, about see. anything else yeah like, you know we let you play cricket or you choose what you want that way very good you know very simple upbringing that to be genuine to what you do work hard Which in whatever you, you do I can say so that. you do that we don't get complaints from neighbors or your teachers we are happy to let you do whatever you want you know we stayed inside a campus so there wasn't much to do like we couldn't bunk and go anywhere the, it was a campus everybody a knew everybody yeah. right and my school was inside the campus for all the campus oh, stuff. like when i went to like my 11th and 12th in college is when i realized oh shit okay kids do like do this as well but any uh, kosher mischief that you guys have done that you can talk about any kosher like broke somebody's window and ran away or something like that so, i've had i've had a few complaints but it was never about like misbehaving or like <laughs> anything like that i went to when i was 7th 7th grade or 8th grade i went to class with like colored hair and like i didn't follow the uniform and yeah. you know i would like slip ons when i had to wear shoes so things like that i would get, yeah. you know parents would get you know complaints that way my parents have been very you know supportive or they've never stopped not me not on the tattoos not at first initially no but then <laughs> then they have given up i guess when i was 16 right after i finished our 10th board exams and then i went i came to bangalore we had a zonal camp and we had some games so 2 3 months i was here and then when i went back i went back with like a big tattoo on my back no i love no half yeah. measures huh? no no <laughs> like i didn't i didn't go i didn't big. i didn't start small like i like go. big like, um <laughs> she hugged me or something and i i I was still in pain. It was fresh. So he was like, "What happened?" I was like, "No, I got a tattoo." And I was like, "What do you mean?" Like, show. Sure. Then like it was swollen and it was like red all over. I was like, "What is this? Like, why are you being a child?" Like, no, ma, this is like a, this is a permanent tattoo. And then she like started like feeling it and stuff. And then she's like, "No, no, this is stupid. Like, go wash it off. Don't be childish." Yeah, yeah. Oops. She didn't understand what a permanent tattoo was. Yeah. Till I got her. Till I got their names tattooed. Bada them up. Yeah. <laughs> I got that as my second, third tattoo. Then they were like, "Okay." So I've started to like collect tattoos every country I go to. Oh. I get a small tattoo on on my leg, so I have like five, six countries. So your calf is your passport now. Yeah, sort of like my calf, my like legs. So what is one? So uh, what did you get for Australia? Don't say kangaroo. No, no, no. I didn't. I got, I got a, uh, I got a, a, a compass, do? compass in Australia. A compass, okay. Yeah, because that's when like you know. the the suspension happened and it's like a wake up call like go in the right direction the suspension also like hit me very hard because i've not been suspended in school in college i've always yeah. like been you know whatever i've never been the mischievous guy who keeps getting reprimanded or like parents are getting notes that nothing i've just like I'm like dude that, that i didn't know how to handle that whole time initially but yeah. then it is what it is I and mean, made me stronger so yeah yeah like growing up here playing for karnataka and all we were just like go to sleep at 10 10:30 wake up yeah. and do the same routine and like you know there's no time we had we had our masti and everything but there's no like mischief or like there's nothing yeah. that we've done no i remember time. we were in delhi only me and my uncle they were playing the under 19 or the under 22 uh, state state games or something and we finished the game early we beat the team and we had to travel next day at 5 in the morning game got over around 3 3:30 ki kya karna hai chalo aaj to like banta hai we can go out and like you know have a good time we were staying in a hostel like and that hostel the gate used to shut at 10 was a big big gate so we went out at 9 and we came back by 4 or something cuz our bus was leaving at 5 so we had to climb the gate and and then go into our room get ready mayan got late 15 minutes late the coaches bajaud us for that and like we were all like big like big guys chashma pen ke like the coach like what are you doing you're not serious ye wo so it stops there when you do a small thing like that and like you you feel like are coaches will complain thodi pad jati hai we might get dropped like we were too we were like that so we were like ek masti bas bas yaar like too much now for one year now we need to calm down so that's it like like very small stupid simple things like that Are you you on his close up? Yeah. Your name's not Rahul, but any Rahul here for the close up? Huh? Raj of that helps. Same family. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, close chalo, we'll allow it. Now tell me, you are of course captain. You've got a great team. Your best buddy Hardik is also captain. First of all, I your friendship with Hardik I find amazing 
बिकॉज ही इज अ सुपर स्वीट गाय बट इज खिसका हुआ इन इज ओन स्पेशल वे राइट इज इट विद यू एंड हिम इज इट जस्ट यू जस्ट से डेन यू जस्ट लिसन टू हिम बिकॉज आई डोंट ही इज एंटरटेनिंग लाइक एवरी सी ही इज एंटरटेनिंग I won't say I'm listening to him, but it doesn't. For him, it doesn't matter. He will still end up saying what he wants to say. It doesn't matter. That's the nice thing about him. He involves everybody, whoever sitting on the table. You know, he's always cracking a joke or two, and, yeah. and at his own expense, he doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is 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 a very. You speak about Hardik and there's like there's music. There's you know? hip hop stuff. I thought Hardik was going to enter from somewhere. Like, Ooh, like, that would have been great. Yeah, it's like a WWE thing. Like music starts and someone's going to come. Yeah. <laughs> One sec. I don't think Hardik should come when I've got a coffee on the table. Either way, <laughs> even with tea, he shouldn't come. I'm happy, <laughs> happy without him. Yeah. But there was a time where I'm sure you must have been when you were playing for Bangalore, and the people you're batting with, Chris Gayle. Virat Kohli, A.B. De Villiers, you're like <laughs> my kid in a candy store moment came uh, in 2013 or 12, 13 season is the is my first year I think and that's yeah. when I walked in and Virat, Chris Gayle, Zaheer Khan and you know there's so many the A.B. and A.B. was my favorite player and he still is is one of my favorite players so I always go back and I'm always watching videos of so now just before going to South Africa. I watched AB De Villiers hundreds in South Africa before going to England. It was AB De Villiers in England, and like how he bats, and he's always been one one of my favorite players. I have a very nice, cute relationship with AB. Where you know, I'm still very like I don't have words. Like I don't, nothing comes out. Like I'm just like, you know, I try. Like I'm, I'm like a. I look like an idiot trying to make conversation with him after the games in IPL because like there's so much I want to ask him but I don't know like proper fanboy yeah, yeah it is it's a proper fanboy uh, moment with him tell me something with like Chris Gayle because I'm sure that there's like the guy I saw him in in 2013 and the guy I last like partied with in 2020 IPL season like his energy levels have just gone up I'm like <laughs> how do you do this so I've seen him hit a six from the toe of the bat. <laughs> you know, it was a 70, 72 meter six. Even if I hit it middle of the bat, mar mar ke it goes 75 meters. I was like, this is unfair. Like the West Indian players, the power that they have is just like unfair sometimes. He would challenge you to a race and he will beat you hands down. Over 30 meter sprint, he will eat you up. He's quick. He can move when he wants to move. You know, and like Chris, what's happening? He's like, no, I'm getting younger. I'm like, fine wine. I remember in 2019, I think we played the World Cup, and right after the World Cup, we went to West Indies for a series. I played the World Cup, I did decently well, and then we went into the series, and I got dropped. I was messaging him. He said, "Come by the pool. I'm having a drink." And it was his 300th game next day, so he was very happy, and he had some friends over. So I went. I, I was by the pool. He came, sat with me, spoke to me. He's like, "Why are you not playing this and that?" And so I, you know, I obviously was frustrated because I played the World Cup. I'm not playing this. Makes no sense. So just talking to him, and he's like, "See, you can always say that you're not playing because of hundred other reasons, but it's in your hand whether you play or no. If 70 is not enough, get 150. If you're getting 150, get 200. If that's not enough, and that's how you need to look at things. If 600 run IPL season is not enough, then get 800. Or you know, you're getting 50, 60s in the World Cup. You should have converted that and got 100, 120s. Then no one has the power to drop you." You can take this away, sir. No sugar, no sugar, no white, no brown, no yellow. Did you always know that this is I'm I'm going on this path? Because you seem like a person who who knows. Ye karna hai, aise karna hai, aur ye ho. I I think so. I think most of us in the team would have grown up like that. I don't think any of us had a plan B. We only had plan plan A, and oh. I think we're very lucky that. You know, we didn't have to go to a plan. I've had two or three years with the Indian team where I, I haven't gotten a chance. Like yeah. I would travel with the team. I travelled for almost two years. Um, you know, and I couldn't get a game, and that's very frustrating when you're, when you're 26, 28, you're young and full of energy. You want to play, you want to learn, you want to grow. You get get to a position in your career where like 
you know i like you play me anywhere in the top 11 yeah. i play even if you want me to you know bowl maybe i have a bad shoulder but i'll try to bowl i'll do something <laughs> you know i want to play in the 11 i want to contribute to the team so sometimes it's just you got to be ready it's just luck right yeah. like what happened in england for you to open in test matches yeah oh. that also for for about 15 16 months before that i got dropped from the test team and i think i was dropped for two or three series and then i came back into the team again when i came back the conversations were you're a good player of spin so we're going to try to put you in in the middle order in the middle lower order I said okay so i prepared for that for 15 months and then like unfortunately my uncle had that incident in the nets and they did ask me we know you know you you we prepared you for number 5 <laughs> but do you want your old job back it was such a funny conversation from the coach captain everybody they were, they were just they were laughing it's like we don't want to do this but this is how it like happens for you like yeah. we understand but here number one position is open do you want to take it like, why would you even think i won't take it i'll 100% i'll jump on yeah. and do anything I, and i i never want to say no because you don't know what what is in store for you right i'd rather take that opportunity and fail than like say no i'm not prepared for this and i was like no like let me take it if i fail i fail i accept that even when i got the opportunity in in joburg to captain the country in a test match it all happened so suddenly virat told me in the bus the morning of the game that you know um, i may not play this game because i have a stiff stiff back yeah so was that morning huh? yeah it was that morning in the bus and until i reached the ground till i was warming up i was like no because i know virat he is never going to miss a game for a small injury He wasn't moving that great, but I know him, so I was like, "No, it's not going to come so easy. It can't be so dreamy that it comes say you become test captain." After the warm-up is when you know the coach told me that he's not looking good. You'll have to captain, go on, put your blazer and go for the toss. I didn't have a blazer also, so I had to borrow the blazer. I had to wear Virat's. I put on the blazer and was walking down for the toss. I was like, "Okay, that's a moment, yeah." For me, it was like, "Okay, you know, it looks good on me." <laughs> nice. This is where I need. This is what, um, you know. I never said, "Oh God, how did this happen?" I was like, "Okay, this looks good. I mean, I worked hard for this, so I was always confident and happy." Than like, you know, like, "Oh no, like, what do I do?" Yeah. I wasn't looking around to say, "Oh God, now what?" Yeah. For you now, captaincy, responsibility, all of this, does that feel that this is this was the the rightful kind of evolution? This is where it was heading. This feels like that. Feeling more settled. Yeah, I mean. you never want to feel settled you always want to be a little uncomfortable if if you feel the sense of comfort then you want to in life but not in sport like or not in like in professionally you don't want to feel comfortable you always want to be maybe one step higher not aim too high i've i've done that early on in my career where i aim too high and the pressure and the expectation i set for myself was too much and was in un- was unrealistic and i i i didn't enjoy playing the game nor did i perform well so it's all a chain so wow. as i grew up i never wanted to be i never wanted to be too calm i think virat also said this his best friend is his anger he uses you know you learn how to use that anger and channelize it into proper things so yeah. it's the same with me i just look calm on the outside but like inside i'm only i know i mean i can't tell you no one's going to agree but there, there there is a fire there's a fire in everybody if no i don't think you can play sport or you can play a sport like cricket or anything in life you can't do it without having a fire inside you and all my anger comes out in in the room once i once i go locked up in the room like if i've had a bad day bad i got out in a in break a, tvs and stuff no no Don't but lie. just like like you know like whatever to get it out of your system so that way like i get angry for 5 minutes and then i'm like okay ho gaya now i can't do anything let me not make the same mistake again and there were some fans in the world who got very happy if you had said yes i do break a tv when i'm angry so then they say are i'm big yeah i'm not going to pay um, extra charges on my uh, for breaking <laughs> the a tv yeah <laughs> Is there a bigger cricket fan in the world than one of my favorite people, which is Anna, who I call Anna Sunil Chetty? Oh, right. No, I don't think so. And he's not just a fan; he understands the game really well. He obsessed. He's obsessed. He's yeah, borderline obsessed. And um, yeah, we do we do have some conversations and like you know, 
arguments sometimes. Arguments about, as well? Yeah, about disagreements? Things. Yeah, disagreements because yeah, he talks sense like every time because he understands the game and you know, you're not fit enough, you're getting injured and you know, there's a reason you're not eating healthy and he's all about the, the, the healthy lifestyle and you know training if you look at him at 60 61 he's he's as fit as anybody else I, I told him once i said you're not 60 you're 60 yeah yeah he is i mean great to see like for us as youngsters i mean he can do it at 60 i don't see why i can't like why i can't do it or i i can't find any reason yeah. i shouldn't find any reason can't be like six days of the week i'll eat right and seven days my cheat days no it, Shit, no work. cheat day then i mean it, it can't be a cheat day you can't have a whole day where you're cheating you know <laughs> that doesn't work i always get get the look from my mother because she's always preparing a lot of stuff and then i'm like i'm not going to eat this and she's like i made it with so much love for you you're not going to eat it she's going to have a long face the whole Mother's day Mother's guilt. Yeah. she'll just come and slyly put it on the table leave it there and walk away and like you know come back and see if i've had it yeah, so it's a bit tough in like indian households that way is it also is that also nice like you you're a real family boy and even like i was talking about sunil chetty and there also it's a real nice kind of family setup this is this is you, right? It's like you you gravitate towards that, don't you? That's, that's where your heart is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. And, you know, like they say, you attract what you... Um, attract your tribe, you attract the right people around you. So, uh, somehow I have. So, I, I like what, what, what is going on in my life. It's just very, um, very simple, exactly what I want and, you know, I have the best people around me, so, yeah. But we were uh, just like when Rahul Ravi came on the show, and he said, I want to, I want to be a bad boy, <laughs> right? And one year yeah. later, he did the ad. He became oh, Indra Nagar ka Gunda. Yeah. So now you've come here and we've spoken about your good boy, good boy image. Yeah. So in one year, you'll be Benson Town ka Gunda. Yeah. We're yeah. ready. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. तो बटन दबाइए लाइक दबाइए सब्सक्राइब करिए टू ओक थ्री स्पोर्ट्स और सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बटन शेयर करिए अपने घर वालों के साथ अपने दोस्तों के साथ ताकि वो भी कहें दे आर प्राउड ऑफ यू दे आर प्राउड ऑफ यू दैट्स राइट मैं चला अपने अगले चैंपियन को ढूंढने बट इफ यू वॉन्ट बी ए चैंपियन ऑफ द रोड दैन टेस्ट ड्राइव द शिकोडा स्लाविया टूडे और अगर भाई के टेस्ट ड्राइव पर भरोसा है होना चाहिए दैन जस्ट बुक इट स्ट्रेट बुक इट आई एम टेलिंग मान लो मेरी बात झूठ कभी नहीं बोलते